Hi everyone, this is Teacher Joan of Mathroom. Welcome to another lesson in general mathematics. Here we will discuss all about rational equations. The learning objectives of this lesson are the following. First, you should be able to recognize the procedures in solving a rational equation. And second, solve rational equations. The essential question we have for this lesson is how to solve a rational equation. This is our main goal for this topic, for you to be able to learn how to solve various rational equations. But first, I would like to challenge you if you could solve these following equations without discussing anything on how to deal with this. Kindly solve for the value or values of x. You may use any strategy you can think of to answer these equations. You may pause the video so you could try answering this. Were you able to answer these items? Let's check. For the first equation, x plus 10 over 2x equals 3, the answer is x plus 2. For the second, 3 over x plus 1 half is equal to 5 over x, the answer here is x equals 4. If you are not able to answer these items, don't feel bad because this is the reason why I made this video. Now, let us have the important concepts. Rational Equation the given here x plus 10 over 2x equals 3 is an example of a rational equation since it contains a rational expression, which is the x plus 10 over 2x. And the goal in a rational equation is to solve for the real solution or solutions that will make the equation true. So what are the steps that you have to follow? First, you need to find the LCD or the least common denominator. Second, you have to eliminate the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD. Third, you have to solve for the resulting equation or find the value of x or whatever variable is given. Fourth, check the solution in the original equation. Take note that whenever a denominator contains a variable, it is a must to check the solutions in the given equation since there are two possible solutions a real solution, and an extraneous solution. When you see real solution, it is a value obtained that will make the rational equation true. An extraneous solution is the term used if the value obtained is not a solution to the given rational equation. Let us now have the following examples. First example, we have 3 over x plus 1 is equal to 2 over x minus 3. Following the four steps that we discussed a while ago, the first thing that we have to look for is the LCD. Looking at this equation, the denominator contains x plus 1 and x minus 3. And in order to remove these denominators, the LCD of this equation contains both of these denominators. So what we have to do is to multiply both sides by these two denominators. We have x plus 1 and x minus 3. Here, we have to write again x plus 1 and x minus 3. So again, we have to multiply both sides. So x plus 1, x minus 3 multiply by this term. We will be able to cancel out x plus 1. So we only have 3 and x minus 3. So it means to say that we have to multiply them. Equals Multiplying the LCD to this term, we will be able to cancel out x minus 3 since x minus 3 over x minus 3 is just 1. So, what's left are 2 and x plus 1. Now that we have removed the denominators, all we have to do is to simplify this equation. As we can see, we need to distribute the constant 3 to x minus 3. So we have 3x minus 9. On the right side of the equation, we have to distribute 2 to x plus 1. So we have 2x plus 2. Looking at this equation now, the next thing that we need to do is to combine like terms. So let's put all the terms with x on the left side and those constants on the right side. So here we have 3x minus 2x. Next, we have 2, 
transpose negative 9, it will become positive 9. So 3x minus 2x gives us x. 2 plus 9 gives us 11. So here's the answer. x is equal to 11. Now, to check if this is real or extraneous, let us substitute this to our original equation. So again, for checking, 3 over x plus 1, so 11 plus 1, equals 2 over 11 minus 3. So the question here is, are they equal? So 3 over 12 equals 2 over 8. Next, 3 over 12 in lowest term, that is 1 fourth. 2 over 8, that's also 1 fourth. So they are equal. So x equals 11 is a real solution. Next item, we have 2 over x minus 2 equals x over x minus 2 minus 4. So to answer this problem, first we need to find the LCD. As we can see in the denominator, we only have x minus 2. And in order for us to remove this x minus 2, we have to multiply both sides by x minus 2. So we have x minus 2 here on the right side, and we also have x minus 2 on the left side. So next, multiply this LCD to this term, we will be able to cancel out x minus 2. So we only have 2 here. Equals x minus 2, multiply it to this term, we will be able to cancel out x minus 2. So we only have x. Next, for x minus 2 and negative 4, since the denominator of this is only 1, we have to multiply negative 4 and x minus 2. So we have negative 4 or minus 4 times x minus 2. Next, we have to simplify. So we have 2 equals x distribute the negative 4. So we have negative 4x and then positive 8. Combine like terms, we have 2 equals negative 3x plus 8. Now, let us combine 2 and positive 8. So, let's put negative 3x on the left side. So, it will become positive 3x. 8 transpose 2, it will become minus 2. So, we have 3x equals 6. Next, we have to divide both sides by 3 so that we can solve for x. The answer here is x equals 2. Next question is, is this real or extraneous? Let's do the checking. Since there is a variable in the denominator, it is a must for us to check. So 2 over 2 minus 2 equals 2 over 2 minus 2 minus 4. 2 minus 2 gives us 0, so 2 over 0 equals 2 over 0 minus 4. Since 2 over 0 is undefined, undefined equals 2 over 0, undefined minus 4 means they are not equal. And again, the denominator should not be 0. Therefore, this x equals 2 is not a real solution, but this is an extraneous solution. Third example, we have 5 over x plus 1 plus 3x plus 5 over x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 4 over x plus 3. Looking at the denominators, one of them is factorable. So before we find the LCD, we need to find first the factors of this. So what are the factors of x squared plus 4x plus 3? We have x plus 3 and x plus 1. As you can see, we also have x plus 1 here. So in order for us to be able to remove the x plus 1, we need to include x plus 1 in our LCD. Also, to remove the x plus 3, we also have to include x plus 3 in our LCD. Therefore, in order for us to eliminate the denominators, we have to multiply both sides by x plus 1 and x plus 3. Next, let us now eliminate the denominators. 
multiply the LCD to the first term, we will be able to remove the x plus 1. Okay? So, what's left? We have 5 times x plus 3. Next, for this term, multiply the LCD by this. We have x plus 3, so cancel it out. We also have x plus 1, we can cancel it. So, what's left? We have 3x plus 5 equals, for this term, multiply this by this term, we only have 4 times x plus 1. Next, let us simplify. Distribute 5, so we have 5x plus 15. Copy 3x plus 5 equals the product of this, 4x plus 4. Next, let us combine like terms. We have 8x plus 20 equals 4x plus 4. Next, let us put all the terms with x on the left side and the constants on the right. So we have 8x minus 4x equals 4 minus 20. So we have 4x equals negative 16. Divide both sides by 4. So x here is negative 4. The question here is, is this real or extraneous solution? Let's do the checking. So we have 5 over negative 4 plus 1 gives us negative 3. Plus 3 times negative 4, negative 12 plus 5 is negative 7 over when we substitute negative 4 here, that gives us 3 equals 4 over negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Let us simplify. So we have here negative 5 thirds minus positive times negative, so minus 7 over 3 equals negative 4. Since these two are similar fractions, we can combine these two. So this becomes negative 12 over 3 equals negative 4. So this, in simplified form, we have negative 4 equals negative 4. So they are equal. Therefore, this x equals negative 4 is a real solution. Last example, we have 2 over x minus 3 plus 1 over x equals x minus 1 over x minus 3. So again, to answer this, first let us determine the LCD. So as we can see in the denominator, we have x minus 3 and x. And in order for us to remove x minus 3 and x, we have to multiply both sides by the LCD that consists of x and x minus 3. So multiply each term by the LCD. So we have 2x, this LCD, and 1 over x. So we have plus 1 times x minus 3 equals, multiply this by this term, x minus 1 times x. Next, we have 2x plus x minus 3 equals, get the product of this, we have x squared minus x. Combine like terms, we have 3x minus 3 equals x squared minus x. As you can see, we have here a term with an exponent of 2, meaning to say we will be having here a quadratic equation. And for us to have a quadratic equation, let us put all the terms on one side and equate to 0. So let's say we have x squared. Let's make x squared positive, transpose, we have negative x minus 3x plus 3. Equate this to 0. So 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. Now we have a quadratic equation. What we have to do here is to get the factors. So the factors of this quadratic equation are x minus 3 and x minus 1. Next, we have to equate each factor to 0. 
So we have x minus 3 equals 0. x gives us 3. On the second, we have x minus 1 equals 0. So x here equals 1. The question here, are these values real or extraneous? Let's do the checking. When x is 3, we have 2 over 3 minus 3 plus 1 over 3 equals 3 minus 1 over 3 minus 3. As you can see here, when we simplify the denominator, the denominator becomes 0. And we cannot have 0 in the denominator. Therefore, this one is not a real solution. How about for x equals 1? We have 2 over 1 minus 3 plus 1 over 1 equals 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 3. Simplify. 2 over negative 2 plus 1 equals 0 over negative 2. Here we have negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And yes, 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, x equals 3 is extraneous, x equals 1 is real. After providing you different examples of rational equations, now is the time to apply what you have learned in these practice exercises. You may pause the video to answer the problems. Let's check our work. For the first equation, the answer is negative 11 over 2. And on the second equation, the answer is x equals negative 5. I hope you were able to get the correct answers. Here are the key takeaways for this lesson. In solving rational equations, the goal is to solve for the real solutions that will make the equation true. And there are two possible solutions, we have real and extraneous. And the steps in solving rational equations, first, you have to find the LCD, second, eliminate the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD. Next, solve for the resulting equation, find the value of x or whatever given variable. And lastly, check the solution in the original equation. Always remember that in solving rational equation, you need to be very extra careful in writing down the steps since when the first step is wrong, everything in the process is incorrect. And sure to double check your answers after solving. So here is the end of the video. I hope you have learned a lot. Again, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like this video, click the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to be updated. Bye everyone! Have a nice day.